Today we are going to do to draw gold. And to draw gold you have to do that with a droplet. That's a droplet. There's several holes and the holes are step by step getting any closer. Smaller, sorry. So that's what I'm using. It's called uh, the tungsten carbide. There is an advantage with that. It's that the gold when it's going to be drawn will be uh, polish, which means that it will be shiny. So, let's I will put it in my vice. It's not that convenient because usually I'm not set up that way. But I figure that exceptionally I will make an effort. Anyway, I put the draw plate, that's what it's called, in my vice. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you every hole I'm going to get through because it's going to take too long but I will do a few holes. Okay, that's my gold wire. And the gold wire right now is about I think let me move that so I can see something. Yeah but you don't see anything if I do that. Anyway, it's about um, half an inch in diameter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce it to about one quarter of an inch. To do so, I'm going to use that droplet, which is here, and I'm going to use a plier. And some sandpaper. The sandpaper is going to be used to reduce the diameter of the wire, so we can put it in smaller holes. Let me see if I can adjust it. Maybe not. Okay. I hope you can see something. Let me move that. Yeah, maybe you can see it a little more. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the behind and I'm going to force my wire through the little hole. Maybe like that is going to be better. See? Maybe you don't. Oh yes, you do see it. See, here is my wire. I'm going to zoom in, so in the hope that you can see a little better. Okay, move that stuff again. Okay, it's here. And here, that hole is a little smaller, and my wire is not going. So, let me put it in my direction now. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm here. I'm going to reduce the zoom if I can. Okay, here is my wire. Here, you can see it. So, I'm going to put it a little around my finger, like so. I'm going to take my sandpaper. Sandpaper is fairly coarse because there is really no point of losing time trying to do it with thinner paper and I'm going to basically reduce the diameter of the end of the wire and I'm going to do that until the wire diameter is going to be small enough to go through the hole. So, give me a second. Okay, now it's going. Let me show you. Hmm. Let me. Okay, almost there, so bear with me. Going to zoom again. Okay, that's the hole which was not going through at first. Now, as you can see, difficult to show. Anyway, you can see it here. See? 
is going through the hole. So I'm going to take my virus fly. Oh, first, forget something important. You always want to keep at least a, a piece of the thicker wire, because if you need to have something thicker at some point, it will be convenient to have it. Anyway, I'm going to take my plier now. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to pull it. As you can see, it's going pretty easy. Let's see if it's reduced enough to go through the hole. Oh, that hole is smaller, obviously. And it's still going through that one. So I'm just going to pull it. Let's be a little luck and we're going to go for the third one. Yeah, it's still going for the third one. So, see? Hmm. So, so far so good and there is no much difficulty. Ah, with the hole. Okay, that one is obviously tighter. I can feel it when I try to pull it, but it's still going fairly well. So, hmm. okay, now it's not going through that one. See, that's the hole I'm trying to put it here, and it's not going to go through there. So, I'm going to take my piece of sandpaper, and I'm going to See, I put it that way. That's my wire here, and that's my sandpaper. I'm going to pull it and remove this wire when I do it, because I want to keep it as long as possible. It's very easy to create a flat, and then when you put your wire between the sandpaper it's become flatter and flatter but it still doesn't go for the hole let me try to see if it's going for that hole now it's still not going sorry I had to move the light oh, sorry so I'm going to do it a little more As I was saying, I'll move the wire to try to keep it as long as possible. When the wire arrives from the manufacturer, it is actually, uh, I don't think it's dead soft, I think it's semi soft or something like that. Okay, you cannot see it. Maybe you can. Let me just try to zoom. Here. Can you see it? No, you cannot. Anyway, it's not going enough, so I'm going to do it a little more. you can see it maybe. I hope you can. See, it's here. It's just pulling a little. There. Now I got my plier and I'm going to go close to it. I'm going to pull little by little. Okay, until it start to, uh, to get harder. Then I'm going to take my plier and I'm going to put it as much as possible there. And I'm going to pull it as much as I can horizontally. And I'm going to have a fluid movement, or try to have a fluid movement. I don't want to go too fast, and I don't want to go too slow. When I don't need to use my wire, I will just put... Or the, sorry, when I don't use a plier, 
or when I got in a gold wire, I will just use my finger to pull it. And voila. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, it was that one, so let's try this one. Now we have reduced it to one fourth of a millimeter. Don't forget that it's a diameter, which means that when you do an inlay, when you put it flat, it will be, I would say. Maybe um, still too big. It doesn't go through my hole. Huh? I cannot see. Okay, trying to put it here. See, but it doesn't go through the hole yet. It's stuck. So I have to continue to reduce the diameter of the end of my wire. Until it goes through the hole. As you did notice, I'm sure you did, how could you have missed it? I did not use any uh, type of lubrification. That's one of the advantages of that type of material. Tungsten and carbide are extremely hard, which means that when they are polished, okay, I can feel it here just a little, but not enough to grab it with my uh, and as I was saying, since it's extremely hard, even if you got some dust, and you do, which gets stuck in the gold, it's not going to scratch the tungsten carbide thing. So it's going to stick to stay very polished, and since it's very polished, it's going to have uh, less. Um, oh. Friction between the gold and the hole. Ah, can you see it? Ah, oh, yes, you can. Maybe a little see it. I cannot blow it up anymore, so, but it's here. See? No, but it's there a little. I can pull it with my plier. I don't want to squeeze my gold too hard because if I squeeze it, squeeze it too hard. I'm going to crush it, and if I crush it, it's going to become flat, and then on my next hole, I will have more problem. That's one of the reasons I don't use my flyer all the time, because I want to avoid crushing the gold as much as posi possible. Okay, now I can pull it. You have to be careful not to step on it, like I just did. As long as you don't create an angle, or a weak spot on the gold, you can basically go as much as you want. Let's do a last hole to show you that it was not just luck. And once again, I did not use any lubrification, I just polished my stuff, the end of my wire. Not polished, no. Reduce the diameter with sandpaper. Okay, cross my finger, now we are the world uh, 3.75. As you can see, no, it's too big. There are very small steps between the different holes. There is different reason for that. If you have steps which are wider, the friction will become too, too great, because when you Reduce the diameter, obviously, as you create some heat and some friction. And if the friction is um, higher or stronger than the, the strength of the gold, you are going to break it. And if you break it, you don't really lose anything. Because, I mean, money wise, but you lose a lot of time because that operation that I do now to sand the end of the thing, you will have to do it on each little piece. So it's easier to do it once on one big piece. So, 
Là, tu continues. Of course, go like any metal is going to work harder. Meaning that as you pull it through different hole, oh, okay. I don't know if you can see anything. Maybe you can. Okay, it's here. It's enough for me to use my faithful plier. I pull it a little. It will become harder. Then pull my plier a little farther. And I pull horizontally. Then I drop my plier, of course. And I just pull it like that. And if you have the impression that the gold is becoming longer, because it is. Of course, what you lose in diameter, you gain in length. Okay, I think I'm going to pause the thing for now. And I will come back to you later when I'm going to go from what that drop like to the I am back. And I finish going through the hole of my droplet. I went all the way to 0.26 millimeter, which is of course two, uh, sorry, uh, uh, anyway, it's small. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. Because to go from that droplet, which is 0.24, to the other droplet, which is 0.245, sorry, that one here is 0.26 and uh, the other one, this one, if I can put it, the smaller hole is 0.245 and it's actually a very big step for some reason between the two and if I just go from one to the other without taking further notice it's not going to work very well so what I'm going to do I'm going to, instead to, to go in the same direction that the droplet as I was going before, I'm actually going to give an angle to my wire. And when I do that, I'm going to reduce the diameter of the wire a little further, even so I'm using the same hole here. So I'm going to do that a few times. I'm going to do it Go slowly, let's say, because I don't want to break my wire and I don't want to give a weak spot to my wire. And you can actually feel the weak spot on the wire when you draw it. That's the point. You basically exercise an even pressure when you draw gold. Oh, see, I broke that one. See what I told you before? So, it's really a pain because now I have to make sure that this part, which is a new hand, is going to go for my little hole. So, I'm going to use my faithful sandpaper and I'm going to reduce it, like so, to make sure that it's going in my hole. And of course it's not going very... Ah, yes it is. See? Oh yes, you can actually see it. So I'm just going to pull it. The only advantage of using your finger to pull the wire over using a plier is the fact that your finger are soft they are going to marry the shape of the gold and you are less likely to create a weak spot on your wire using your finger See, little by little and now it's going very easily See? and I should be able to use the next droplet you put that one in place. Okay, my next row plate is this one. It's a little smaller, but the principle is exactly the same. 
that we go for some reason, we can never go very thin. I mean, the best I can do is the first hole sometime, if I'm really lucky. I can do the second hole. And, um, that's so it is. I don't quite understand why. It seems that it's working much better if you're using a lower grade of gold. If you use uh, 18, it's working better. I draw my uh, green gold, and green gold is 18 k is 18 k in the one I'm using at least. Okay. I'm going to try to go through that hole. It's not going. So, I'm going to... not well. I'm just going to do that hole and we'll be done. Once again, it's not a false impression. I didn't use any lubrification of any type. It's just using the property of well-polished metal. Well polished metal have less friction. That's one of the reasons that when you have a piece of metal and you want to avoid a thing to rust, if it's well polished, it's not going to rust as easily as something which is rough. Which makes sense because if something is well polished, you got less exposure to the to the air around it. Okay, let's stop. Ah. Can you see it? Oh, maybe you can, I'm not sure. I can. Of course, I got glasses. Okay. So it's here. I'll show you. Ah, yes, you can see better that way. So, I'm just going to pull it. You don't want to pull the wire too fast. But on the hand, you don't really have to be so slow either. I mean, gold is flowing like water. And if you go for a smaller space, it's going to flow backward. And you may notice that I use my finger in the back here. There. I don't use it just because it's fun, but it's avoid having giving an angle to my gold. And of course, if I give an angle to my gold, I will create a weak spot. And when I put my finger there, you know, my place is a workshop. So there is dust, there is plenty of stuff around, and my wire is pretty long, so obviously it's touching the ground. And um, so, because I'm touching it with my hand, there is some sweat on it. And I'm going to collect plenty of particles and stuff like that. If I put my finger here, my hand here, behind, basically my finger is going to clean the wire before we go through the hole. And once again, you are going to avoid having um, a weak spot with dirt or stuff like that. Because if you got any dirt or any particular steel, of course, the particle is much harder than the gold, so it's going to find its way inside the gold, and you are going to create a weak, weak spot. And of course, I don't want to create weak spot. My God, what would we do with a weak spot? I think you have understood the way it's working, so enjoy, and um, good luck.